If you ask most photographers what they do after they import their images into the hard drive, they will say some combination of uh, I import all my photos uh, into my catalog, uh, I put them in a folder structure by location or date, uh, and I rename the files by photo session or location. And these are common facets of how many photographers uh, organize their photo work. However, there is uh, one problem that I see many fellow photographers struggle with. How can I find my images after importing them? Hi everyone, what's going on? I'm Andrea, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to explore the method I called PEP, which allows you to find every image that you've ever taken in a Breeze, a kind of a customized Google search system for your images. A quick disclaimer, this video is an excerpt from a one-hour course I posted on Skillshare. So without further ado, let's get started. This is one of my favorite practices when it comes to photo catalog organization. Once we have imported our images into the catalog, now we need a way to find them and like everything with the least amount of effort possible. In this lesson, I want to introduce you to keywording. Keywords in Capture One are a way to describe key elements of a photograph. Keywords add a description to an image and if done correctly, when used in conjunction with filters, they are a powerful way to find specific images quickly in a large catalog. When I started out as a Capture One user, I was a keyboard fanatic. I was trying to remember to keyword almost everything. Anyway, you easily end up spending a lot of time punting the keywords that you will most likely never ever look for. In this lesson, I want to show you a better and my personal streamlined method of finding images in our catalog based on how we do access them in our head without using tons of useless keywords. Uh, I call this method PEP, People, Events, Places. As we saw in the importing lesson, we store our images by date, but try to think for a moment and think about five or 10 images. Think yourself in your mind, how do you remember them? How do you access them in your own uh, head? You're not thinking uh, about when, you're not thinking about a specific date, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure you are just thinking about the image itself. There are actually only a few words that you need to think about uh, to find pretty much uh, any image that you ever taken. Is the picture about a person? Is the picture about uh, an event, uh, a trip, a workshop, uh, or whatever? Or is the picture about a place? That's how PEP works. So who, what, and where? That's how we're going to set up our keywords and you don't have to go any further than that. Often just one or two keywords is all we need. Okay, so let me show you how to set this up. In the tools panel, we have got many different tabs and the tab we want to use now is the metadata tool tab. This tab allows you to insert keywords and specific information in addition to the basic metadata from a camera that you can view in the metadata tab. Keywording photos should be an important part of everyone's digital workflow in Capture One. When we add keywords to our images, those same keywords can later be used to search and find images in our Capture One catalog in a breeze, especially in large catalog. So what are keywords? Keywords are basically metadata or information in the form of words that you can add to an image file. The keyword metadata is added to your images in Capture One's metadata tab. And the simplest way to keyword is to type them into the keyword entry box in the keyword tab. Simply highlight the image you want to add keywords to and then type the words that make more sense to you to describe the photo, all separated by a comma, for example, for this image, we could add Iceland, comma, and Landmaluga as keywords and press enter. To make the process faster, we can apply the same keywords to multiple selected images. But before doing that, always make sure the edit all selected function is active. If not, the keyword will be applied only to the selected shot. My favorite approach, though, is using a keyboard library, which is a set of keywords that are linked together. Once you have created a keyboard library, adding them is as easy as choosing the keyboard library and clicking on the ones that apply to your image. The huge advantage of using a keyboard library is that we can organize keywords in hierarchy to add multiple keywords to our photos at the same time. Basically, this involves placing keywords within keywords. So assigning the lowest level child keywords to an image adds all the keywords in the hierarchy. Okay, let's implement a keyword library, take advantage of the PEP method and the hierarchies. Remember, our goal is to create a workflow that serves consistency. So the first step is defining our keywording structure is absolutely important for any future catalog search and organization. 
First thing first, we want to create our three main keywords uh, on which to build uh, the keyword hierarchies. So we're going to add the keyword people, then events, and then uh, places. These are our base keywords, okay? This is the start of what we call a hierarchy. Everything else falls inside of these three folders. Just about every image you ever taken will fall inside of one of these three categories. Now, let's look at this first group of images, right? Let's take this picture and ask yourself, what is it? Where is this place? Well, I took this place in Iceland, so the more logical thing to do is add the keyword Iceland, right? Nice. We're going to right click on places and we're going to choose a create keyword child inside of places and name it Iceland. Do you see this arrow on the left hand side of places? This is what we call a nested folder structure, a hierarchy. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In defining this place, we can be more specific. This landscape is in the Icelandic Highlands, so I can add another keyword Highlands. Right click on Iceland, create keyword child, and we are going to type Highlands. Again, we can be even more specific. This mountain is in Landmannalaugar area, so we can add the keyword Landmannalaugar. So all the highlighted keywords with the solid gray are the active keywords. And now you are going to start to see what I'm talking about. We have this hierarchy in place, right? And this can go on and on. If we wanted to add a top layer before Iceland, let's say we want to add Iceland as a child keyword of Europe, what we can do is create a new Europe keyword child in places and then drag the keyword Iceland right inside of Europe. Super easy. Hierarchical keywords can be added by separating them by greater or less than symbols. Hovering over the keywords, you get the tooltip showing the full path. An important thing to keep in mind is that each catalog has its own keyword library. If you decide to create a second of multiple catalogs and you want to use your custom keywords, you need to export the keyword library with the function export keyword library, which creates a text file. And on the new catalog, select the three dots here, select create keyword library, and then from keywords text file. The reason why keywords work so well is that you only have to enter one keyword. That's the whole point of the having a hierarchy in place. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you want to find these images again, and that's the whole point of this uh, uh, in uh, the first place, uh, you don't want to have to do a lot of work, right? That's the reason why we are even doing this course, is to show you the most amount of result for the least effort possible. We want to do everything in just one or two clicks. So here's what we are going to do. We're going to select the entire folder, right? We're not going to go image by image. So hit Command A and it's going to select uh, all the images. And now we just have to keyboard it uh, one time with one click. Before moving to the next lesson, let me show you how I actually do it for a folder so that you can follow me along with the process.
Also, be aware that keyword search uh, is case sensitive, so I highly recommend being uh, as consistent as you can uh, in uh, creating your custom keywords. Otherwise, it's pretty easy to find yourself with uh, multiple keywords with the same name, uh, and that's uh, a fantastic way to screw up the hierarchy organization. All right, as I said, this video is just one chapter of a full one hour course that you can find on Skillshare, where I show the entire process of how I organize my image scattering in Capture One from scratch. If you'd like to watch it, I'll leave the link in the video description down below. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment down below. If you haven't already, give the like button a downstroke, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to tickle my bell. I have some new photography workshops coming up for next year, so check out my website. You can find all my workshops there, and email me if you are interested in anything. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.